You'll see first on Eyewitness News. The investigation into the death of a Warwick infant back in February has now taken another turn. Eyewitness News has learned the mother of the baby is now facing charges. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is live in Warwick with the developing details. Caroline? Well, Cam, when police initially charged Ryan Bealey, they said that the case was ongoing, that and more charges could be filed. But we've learned tonight that more charges were filed this week, but against someone else. A second person charged in connection to the death of seven month old Willow Ramos. The Warwick baby was found unresponsive in a bedroom inside her airway road home in February. She died at Hasbro Children's Hospital. And soon after, her father, 37 year old Ryan Bealey, was charged with cruelty to or neglect of a child. But Eyewitness News has now confirmed through court documents that the child's mother is also facing charges. She is 34 year old Mariah Ramos. And according to documents, she's facing the same charge as Bealey, which is a felony. Documents indicate Kate Ramos was arraigned in Kent County Family Court on March 27th. She pleaded not guilty. Ramos is due back for a pretrial hearing on April 13th. Back in February, the Department of Children, Youth and Families confirmed they investigated the family when Willow was a newborn. Police spoke to those investigations. There were some other family members who had showed up at the residence at the time and had questioned their ability to take care of the six week old. But DCYF found those allegations were unsubstantiated. Warwick police still haven't said what alleged actions or inactions Bealey committed. And when we reached out to them Sunday night regarding the charge against Mariah Ramos, they didn't provide comment. And we also reached out tonight to Mariah Ramos's attorney and the attorney general's office. We're still waiting to hear back from both of those parties. Again, Mariah Ramos is due back in court on April 13th for a pretrial hearing. For more background on this case, you can head to our website at WPRI.com. Reporting live in Warwick with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.